Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for another one of our mass making sessions and we are week number 32, would you believe? It's just, actually it might be week number 33. I'm so sorry. Honestly, I look at these in the morning, um, you know, of the mass making session so that I know what we're doing. And yeah, within literally just doing the school run and coming home and doing a couple of emails and doing, <laughs> doing a wash load and things, I've literally, I can't remember whether it's 32 or 33. Anyway, I do apologise. Um, it's one of those. And we're going to be making the large book page pockets. So if you want to join in, I have brought along a whole bunch of different book pages. Um, and they are all kind of still at the moment sort of attached to their spine. Oh, tell a lie. They're not, they're not all attached to their spine. Um, but a lot of them are. Oh no, more, more that aren't there. Oh well, just ignore that. So yeah, just bring along some book pages. Um, you know, and then we'll kind of go from there. And I've also brought along some, um, you know, patterned paper for just in case I want to cover some of the book page with some patterned paper. Um, so that would be fine as well. You're going to need then your scissors and you're going to need some glue. And then you may like to have sort of a glue spreader um, to, you know, squish your, your pages down with. Um, aside from that, you may want to have a blendy tool and some ink. And you may want to have some bits to decorate, um, but that's kind of all completely optional, really. And yeah, you may find that you prefer to kind of keep them plainer until you actually come to use them. So let's get making. And I'm just going to literally work on the first, you know, the first book pages that I've got here. So I'm going to go to the back, really, because that's going to be, I think, easiest. And what I'm going to do is take three pages from this you know bound kind of section of book page and then these are very similar to the ones that we made a few weeks ago but these are going to be much bigger pockets so basically all you're going to do is take your first book page and you're going to fold it down to make a slanty pocket like that now I always fold it back and then fold it you know the way that I want it to go I just find that easier to sort of be able to gauge you know where I want my pocket to be and then I'm going to line up the next one and again just so that I kind of like gauge where roughly I want that one to be in line with the other one if that makes sense and again then just kind of take that back and fold that back in on itself like that and that's all there is to these and then you're just going to glue them all together and kind of assemble it now of course here you could use a sewing machine um, but I do realise that not everybody has access to a sewing machine. Not everybody wants to be using their sewing machine with their paper. Um, you know, and that's absolutely fine. So if you don't have a sewing machine, so I will probably do all of mine off of the sewing machine for the mass making. So that we're all, you know, able to do them together. So that's my first one. Then I'm going to glue my second one down. Like that. Okay, and this is where you may want to have your your glue spreader so as you get nice, you know, nicely glued flat pages. And then all you're going to do is obviously assemble your page. Now, at this point, you may wish to trim this down. And it's up to you, really. Oh, I've done that really, really badly. I thought that perhaps I had. So I probably won't be able to peel this up. Mm. Okay. I just want to kind of fold that slightly differently. Okay. So, I mean, they're quite forgiving, you know. I have got a bit of a sort of foldy bit going on there, but that's fine. It's all, it's all fine. Um, yeah, so at this point, you may want to cut your pages down slightly if they're going to be very, very large. So, I mean, this one, for instance, it is a little bit on the big side. So, what I'll probably do is glue more around where the text ends if that makes sense so to kind of assemble my pocket i'm just going to go in more or less where that text ends like that and then i know that that's my guide for for cutting so again roughly where that text ends like that okay and then again on the other side so just pull that back and again just where that text ends you know and again this is just you know completely up to you and it will depend on your book page size 
obviously if your book page is you know not that big then you may find using the entire book page is absolutely fine I mean to be honest this probably would have actually been absolutely fine um it just really depends kind of how big you want your your pockets to be so like that and then we can obviously trim this down like this okay and then across here and straight up this side like that okay and that's all there is to these but you've got and I don't want to kind of put things in here too much because of course I will then just cause it to open out but you've got then a big pocket here and you've got a big pocket here and then what I'm going to do now is put another pocket on here and this is where you know you may like to use your patterned paper to put your next pocket you may want to marry it up with some pocket uh, some pattern paper up here just mix and match and kind of go with how you think you know would look nice so for this one I'm going to just put this in so again just going to kind of glue down like that and then across here Oops. like that and then just yeah pop that down like this and then just let me mop up mop up all around i might have actually done this pocket a little bit on the small side but we'll see and you know these revisits they're really nice because this is where we kind of can develop you know other things that perhaps we didn't really kind of do back at the time and things so for this one obviously I've got this pocket now in my last one I'm pretty sure that you know I actually didn't do that many with pockets at the bottom I kind of did them more just plain and decorated the bottom so you know it's up to you really you could do either or um, but I think they're quite nice with the you know with the extra pocket here so then you've got pocket here pocket here pocket here now this is only thick um you know single page book page thickness so this is where you need to decide you know are you going to actually put some decorative paper on there or are you going to actually keep it with the book page so for this one i'm just going to take in oops take in a sheet of book page and i'm just going to glue the whole thing down onto there so I've kept it kind of yeah just book page pattern the reason I didn't do this first was because I was actually thinking I was going to go in with some pattern paper but yeah just I don't know why just decided not to so let's just go in here and I probably should have actually just gone in a bit closer to the um edge and then I wouldn't have had so many edges to have to cut but anyway it didn't really occur to me to do that so yep my glue oh I've had to cut the end off because it was really really blocked and now of course it's like seeping everywhere so that's why I've got glue just oozing out literally everywhere absolutely everywhere so yes please ignore my my glue saga going on today I have actually got another one here at the side of the desk so perhaps I should pull that in because look it's making it so saturated it's even, it's even causing the paper to actually tear off so yes I've clearly clearly over oversaturated it now and then we can obviously cut this across here like that okay and down the side like that so, I mean, again, I think these are pretty versatile. I think you could really change these up and do quite a few different things with these. Um, you know, it's just kind of like a case of playing around and then you'll probably find that the more that you make, actually, the more ideas will come to you as to other things that you could be doing with these. So, sorry, this is very soggy. So I'm making a bit of a, a, bit of a dog's ear of um, cutting it down, but never mind. So, I mean, you could round the corners. You could obviously, you know, use fabric here as your pocket. You know, you could do lots of different things. Um, 
you could probably have another couple of slanty pockets if you want. You could have this bottom pocket as a slanty pocket with a space in between. You know, lots and lots of different things that you can do. So just kind of make them, you know, make them your own. And um, yeah, play around and kind of get get them looking how you want them to look. So let's take another. So again, we're going to take four here. Like that. Tear these down. So for this one, I will go straight in and glue the back to the, to the other one. So I probably should just give in and just open my other glue because this is just ridiculous. I'm, um, you know, ending up with really soggy pieces. So yeah, I might, might have to do that in a second. So just spread my glue round like this. Okay. Then take my next pocket over here and then bend it down to approximately where I want it to be. Then, I mean, I personally like to bend mine in. Again, you don't have to do that. You may prefer yours bent out. It's completely and utterly up to you, um, you know, which way that you would prefer them. I just probably prefer mine, you know, folded in on themselves, if you see what I mean. But completely and utterly up to you so again take my glue now and just glue this pocket down like that oops try not to get my glue everywhere yeah I'm definitely going to have to switch over in a second to that other that other glue because this is you know kind of ridiculous Kind of ridiculous how much glue I have using out of here. So, okay, right. So, we turn this back over like that, and then again, just going to go around approximately, you know, where that text sort of finishes. Oops, like that. Okay, like that, and glue that down, like that, okay, and then the next one, like that, and in here, like that, okay. So again, just squish that down. And then again, can go in and trim that up. Like that. I'll just trim across the top. It doesn't probably need it, but I'll just do that anyway. And then down this side. like that and then we'll just trim across the bottom here Oops. okay and then of course what we can do is then put our pocket on now again like I say completely up to you what you use you may like to use more book page um, I don't think I've really ever done one with just book page so let me just have a look and see how that would look might look okay but it might look really rubbish let's just see Oops, well it will look really rubbish if it's completely slanty won't it yep <clears throat> it's okay I mean you know I don't know personally I think that's a bit boring but you know that said it it depends really the look that you're going for you might you know you might prefer that look so I'm just going to use some of this, which is some collage sheet. So I'm just going to snip this kind of curlyish edge off. Like that. And let's just go in here. Just going to cut this down so as I know roughly, roughly where I need to glue it. Just then take this edge down. Okay. And then we can just glue this one down. Like that. Okay. 
and then actually I'm going to put it up a bit and then I'm going to trim my my pocket down a bit more because this page was actually smaller than smaller than I'd realized so yeah I'm going to go up there and then of course what I'm going to have to do is just add a little dab of glue down here so we're just going across here like that just trim it down at the edges like that and this one okay like that and then yeah just kind of like where I've obviously cut that open now just needs a line of glue Ooh. I'm one extreme to the other there's either no glue coming out or it's just oozing everywhere so now back to now back to no glue coming out at all so there we go I mean this is where actually I I think sometimes actually the sewing machine is actually quicker quicker and easier than the glue um I'm only kind of sticking with the glue really for this because of course you know like I say I want this to be accessible for everybody and I realize that just not everybody has a sewing machine but I mean if you have then I would say that the sewing machine is going to actually be quicker probably for making these pockets than the glue so that's that one so they're really nice pockets aren't they so yep let's um yeah let's put it to one side now I'm going to just endeavor to use my new or my other glue because oh I don't want to just be here endlessly with you guys with that other ridiculous glue seeping out everywhere so we'll have a new glue a new glue on the go and yeah let's get mass making some of these so let's just kind of try and do them you know a bit more kind of time efficiently so I'm going to do them one two three and I probably will marry these with some background papers at the back so again one two three and then one, two three so yeah we're going to just do some assembly line style and by that I just mean all the stages that are similar we will do in one hit and then you know we'll do all the next stage in one hit and I think that's just probably a little bit quicker and easier to do that and it just um you know probably saves a bit of time oh excuse me a moment hold on oh so sorry about that right um and then let's just do a couple from this you know much smaller size book as well so one two three I probably won't get you know anywhere near this amount done if I'm truthful but you know let's just um let's just give it a try give it a try and see oh gosh I've really been inking up on that one so right let's just oh one two three right okay yeah I probably won't get anywhere near this amount done but let's just kind of see so now I'm going to do obviously all of my folds now so oh, I've done that on the wrong way I'm thrown now from my my phone call so right let's put that one here and then let's do this one over the top so okay right so I'm just going to do all my folds and then I probably have to go back in and fold them in the other way and I suddenly realized actually I have this weird thing where I don't know about you guys I don't know whether it's because I'm right-handed but oh I've done it again look. um I always just go from the right and I don't know really yeah I don't know whether that's like a right-handed person thing you know let me know below do you always go in a certain direction so all of my diagonals they're always that way so I'm just going to go in and do some the other way as well just because otherwise that's really really boring isn't it to have them all the same the same direction so yeah let's just go in and do some here the other way so like that okay and let's do one this way now because this is this is that mathematics kind of paper so um yeah I don't want to have them all then going the same way but on the same paper so I oh know oh ridiculous but yeah uh, I think we do tend to kind of do things maybe I don't know like I say whether it's because I'm right-handed but I think we do tend to always do things the same you know the same way I don't know about you guys but you know if I'm going to put something in a corner of say a pocket it's generally always going to be in the right-hand corner um 
you know, regardless, I don't know whether that's, you know, I don't know whether it looks better in the right hand corner or whether it's just that my mind being right handed, you know, or my, my body being right handed even, um, my mind then can't comprehend putting it the other way around. So yeah, let's just go here. And I mean, again, you know, you can vary the angle that your diagonals are folded. So, you know, they don't all have to be so deep or they don't all have to be, you know, um, well, yeah, so deep, I guess is the word. Um, you know, you could make them much shallower. So like this one, right, say, we could do right up here. So it's actually a very small diagonal. And then obviously the next one up there. And they are nowhere near as far down the page, which, you know, I mean, it's just, again, to get sort of a bit of a variation going, I suppose, um, so that so you've got some different looks. So, again, let's take this one and, yeah, let's just fold that one in like that. So, yeah, let's just kind of relax into it and um, have a nice time. I'm so sorry. I've been thrown off now by that phone call. So, um, because obviously it's now, you know, I've, I've got to follow up things to do. So, um, yeah, I've been kind of thrown out. But I will um, try and put that kind of out of my head and just let's just enjoy our time together. So, so now what I want to do is obviously fold my folds in the other way and then just glue them down. So, yeah, hopefully I'm going to do a bit better with my with my better glue so yeah well it's not so oozing out everywhere so that's straight away a big improvement okay and this one so yes i hope that everybody's week has started out well um my week you know if you follow my channel you'll know that i film these generally on the monday ready to upload obviously for the Tuesday. So, I mean, my week's literally only just started this morning. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously you will be a little bit more into your week because obviously it will be Tuesday. So I hope that your, your week has started out well. It's a gray and dismal day here today, which is weird because I thought it was supposed to be sunny. And strangely enough, it was quite sunny first thing. And I thought, oh, we're, we're in for a nice day, but no, it's, it's clouded over and looks quite drab out there now. But hey, it's not raining, so that's that's okay. I don't mind it being drab, as long as it's not actually raining. And I do apologise. I've got I've got a cold. I don't feel you know I don't feel funny or ill or anything like that. Um, I didn't feel too great last week actually. I had a couple of days where I didn't really feel too good. Um, and unfortunately I did have to, um, film a few videos where I've had to stop constantly to, um, blow my nose or to cough. Uh, those won't be coming up probably for a while, although I think actually one of them might have been the Butterfly Blue journal, which obviously I've put up today. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I think the others are, you know, going to be coming up over the next few weeks. So yeah, you'll kind of keep on hearing... You know, some days I will appear to have a cold and some days it will appear to have miraculously gone. So, um, yes, I <laughs> I hopefully I'm not going to have it quite as long as it's going to be appearing in videos, if that makes sense. But, yeah, anyway, I'm now just left with sounding like a cold. But hopefully I'm kind of over the worst of it. So, um, yeah, I think everybody's got colds at the moment. I don't think it's... I don't think it's just me or anything like that. I think I think there's lots of colds going around. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. I'm trying to think now what we've been up to. Right, what have we been up to? We're going to decorate our bathroom. So, um, yeah. We moved into our house, um, you know, 14 or 15 years ago. So, well, about 14 and a half years ago. So, I mean, it was a long time ago. And I know I've talked about this loads of times. Our house was a renovation project. So, I mean, it really did have a lot of work to do. And of course, you know, we did all that work when we first moved in. But I mean, you know, 15 years, it's a long time, isn't it? So, of course, everything's looking pretty dated and awful now again. And, um, you know, very tatty because, of course, you know, there's lots of through traffic with, um, you know, the kids have obviously grown up here and, you know, my daughter's still young. 
So, um, yeah, there's lots of through traffic and it gets, you know, it gets quite a lot of use um, as houses go. So, uh, yeah, the bathroom is, you know, gone from being gorgeous to awful, really. So, um, yeah, we're going to decorate in there. And, you know, I mean, of course, well, A, I haven't really got much money to spend on it. And B, you know, things are still very much up in the air. I mean, we very much hope and pray that we're going to be able to stay in our house. But, you know, things are far from sorted, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to kind of see. But, so, you know, obviously we're on sort of limited budget what we are going to be able to do with our bathroom. So... I've decided we're going to just paint it. Now, the bathroom's got like tiles part way up. Um, yeah, I mean, again, it's surprising how quickly, you know, things change around, isn't it? Because actually 15 years doesn't really sound that long. Um, you know, and I just say this because I think the older you get, the more you move that mountain, don't you? And you think, oh, 15 years, that's nothing. I mean, when you're young, 15 years sounds like forever, doesn't it? Um, but it's surprising how much fashion changes isn't it and um you know I think really houses have really evolved in the last 15 years to be honest and um yeah so obviously what was kind of fashionable then is not fashionable now so you know we did have these half tiles and you know so of course my son is then saying to me you know oh that's going to look horrible mum you know because I've chosen this really dark charcoal colour because of course grey is kind of very fashionable and things and um I have got lots of grey everywhere else in the house, but not in the bathroom. It was kind of predominantly a kind of ivory colour. Now, the only thing is that ivory colour, which of course was, you know, fine 15 years ago. I mean, it's actually quite sort of yellowy based, isn't it? So I don't know how it's going to really look. And I don't know how the charcoal is going to look because that's a very, very, very dark grey. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. And I will keep you posted as to how that pans out. But... I'm praying and hoping that it's going to look really nice. But yeah, so my son was like, you know, oh, mum, that's going to look horrible. Why are you doing it that horrible colour? You know, I said, I, I think it's going to look nice. And touch weird, you know, the boys are actually going to do it for me. So, you know, that's really, really good of them. And, um, you know, I, t I just really pray that it is going to look nice. I don't know, to be perfectly honest, whether it's going to or not. Um, but, you know, I mean, of course I want it to look nice. But yeah, I mean, obviously if we paint like half the wall and it looks rubbish, then I probably won't bother painting the other half. You know, we'll, um, yeah, I guess we'll kind of do something, do something different. Um, we'll kind of just have to see, see how it's looking when it's like half done. But yeah, and so then my son said, you know, this my oldest son. So he then said, you know, oh, mum, it's gonna look horrible. You know, you've got to retile. I said, look, I haven't got money, to, you know, to retile, unfortunately. So, um, you know, we're going to just have it, obviously, just keeping the tiles that we've got and we're just going to paint them. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. He then said, you know, oh, what about the tile paint? I said, well, yeah, I mean, you can, oops. you can get tile paint. I haven't ever used it. I don't know what it would be like. But, you know, I don't want to actually kind of like do something that then looks such an eyesore that then I'm like stuck in a situation where I've got no choice but to, you know, but to retile it. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing at the moment is um, we're going to be just painting it and hoping for the best, really. Painting and hoping for the best. So, yeah, I'll let you know and keep you keep you informed as to what it looks like, but... I mean, it is a very dark colour, it's got to be said, but obviously I've kind of looked on Pinterest and Google and, you know, all the rest of it at various different colours. And, um, I mean, that really dark, you know, really dark, like very impactful, dramatic kind of look, it looks gorgeous. Whether it's going to look gorgeous in my actual bathroom, I have no idea. And like I say, because I've got these tiles that actually... You know, I suspect if I'm truthful, are going to look pretty rubbish with that colour. You know, um, yeah, it it might just be that actually it's not gonna not gonna sort of cut the muster at all. But we'll see. We will see. So that's the plan. So yesterday we bought. Um, well, it killed me to have to buy the sample paints because they're so expensive. 
Um, but that said, the price of paint is so expensive too that to be honest, you can't really afford to just take a gamble and not use a sample paint because, you know, if you then don't like it and you've then spent, you know, £30 on a tin of paint, then that's, you know, that's pretty rubbish, isn't it? So, yeah, and I mean, obviously, I would be able to use the paint here in my crafts and things, but, you know, that's not really an economical kind of way to look at it, is it? So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to look good and, you know, we're going to like it. But like I say, I mean, time will tell. So I'm just going to put this on, I think, as a pocket down here. So I'm just going to fold this paper over. And this is my French blue papers. So let's just check what sort of height we want this. So probably to about here. Um, yeah, so we'll see anyway. But it's one of them things that I just think, oh, you know, it really would improve, improve the look. So... Uh, you know, and it has come to the point where I just can't bear looking in there, to be honest. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's going to be a big improvement. But yeah, to hear my son speak, they're like, no, it's not going to be an improvement. So, who knows? They might be right. They might be absolutely right. I've also bought um, some furniture paint because I've got like a little tiny chest of drawers in there. Um... And I'm going to try and paint that. So that one I've got from Amazon. And I'm just waiting for that to arrive. So again, you know, I'm hoping it's going to look look good. But yeah, who knows. And then we need a new towel rail and toilet roll holder and all of that kind of stuff. Because actually ours is broken and no longer on the wall. And you know, you know how, how it is when these things are quite old. So yeah, it just looks really ropey and kind of needs... Needs improving. Right, that pocket, I absolutely hate. It's way too big up that page. Um, so I'm going to cut this down now because, yeah, I really just don't like the look of that at all. So I'm going to just, yeah, cut it across here. So that was what we did yesterday. Um, oh, also, you know, my daughter's room looks a tip. Um <sighs> I mean, to be honest, I've talked about her before and what a messy girl she is. Um, but, you know, she doesn't have great storage in her room. So I don't think that's helping the situation. And, um, yeah, we kind of talked about it, you know, again yesterday. And we all kind of said, well, actually, you know, she probably could do with some better storage now. You know, she's quite a bit bigger now than when we decorated her room. It was probably about five, five or so years ago. You know, it probably does need different storage now going on so yeah we might have to kind of look at doing something with her room um yeah just gonna have to sort of wait and see but the funny thing is she's so messy and you know just so disinterested she never ever wants to clean or do anything and um so anyway of course she was you know she was joining in the conversation with oh yeah you know let, oh yeah let's let's redo my room you know and she's got unicorns in there at the moment. So, um, yeah, she's joining in the conversation and, um, you know. So then we come home and I said to her, you know, the thing is, your room is so disgusting, nobody can even go in there to actually, you know, get started. Even if we wanted to decorate it, you know, we couldn't. So she had a doll's house in there that I, I only bought for her, I think it was during the lockdown. And of course, like all these things, she doesn't use it. And, you know, so it's now just become a glorified, you know, shelf unit, you know, and it's just full of clothes, really. She just takes off her clothes and chucks them on there and oh, just, you know, anything and everything just gets chucked onto that doll's house. So, um, oh, this is my Myrtle Cottage um, papers, these, these background pages. Um, yeah, so... It's just become a glorified shelf unit. And I just think, oh, that's, you know, that's terrible, isn't it? So I said to her, right, well, let's clean up your doll's house as well. And, you know, we can then try and sell that. I mean, we won't get anything really much for it because it wasn't an expensive one in the first place or anything. And, you know, of course, she's had it for a couple of years. So, you know, but having said that, it's okay still. And we got home obviously from buying all the paint and what have you and um would you believe she went straight up to her bedroom and 
she dragged out her doll's house, dragged it out herself. I mean, this is the same girl who, like, you know, claims she can't even, you know, hang her school dress up into her wardrobe, you know, but she dragged the whole doll's house out and she put it onto the landing outside her bedroom door. And I'm not kidding you, got cleaning that doll's house up. So the reason I know that it's still fine to sell is because it's now sat on our landing, you know, ready for me to try and photograph it and, um, yeah, try and get rid of it. But I couldn't believe it. I said to her, oh my goodness, you know, you amazing girl. I've never, ever, ever seen her so motivated and so, so determined to clean up because normally she will not clean anything. You know, you can try and bribe her and all sorts, but she is cleaning nothing. But yeah, obviously the promise of, you know, a possibility anyway, of a new bedroom or, you know, a different bedroom. Oh my goodness, I've never seen her so keen or so quick to actually clean something up. So, and I did think, well, I must bear this in mind because it goes to prove that she actually can do these things that she claims constantly she can't. So, yeah. <sighs> But it just made me laugh. I mean, obviously, yeah, the house now looks even messier because, of course, that doll's house is now out in the middle of the landing. Um, well, not really in the middle of the landing, but right at the top of the stairs outside her bedroom. So looking like an eyesore. But, um, yeah, at least it's kind of cleaned up and, and ready now to kind of get rid of in some some capacity. So I just couldn't believe it. I thought, wow, I've never seen her so keen to do something so um yeah and the funniest thing is she said oh yes you know i don't want unicorns now because they're a bit babyish so i said oh right okay you know and then we went into the shop where we bought the um you know the paint samples for the bathroom and we just looked at the wallpaper and um what wallpaper does she like and she was drawn to you guessed it the unicorn ones and i said to her I thought the unicorns were were babyish, you know, I thought that was the point. You didn't want the unicorns now. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know. So, again, I just thought, oh, they don't know what they want, do they? Right, now I'm going to do this like this, and I'm just going to hook this over the top of this book page. Like that. So we have a really nice, neat finish at the top of this pocket. So just gluing this down here like that. Okay. And then turn that over and then just glue it onto here. And again, you know, I'm just doing this just so that I've got a thicker piece of paper to use as a pocket. So, you know... You don't have to do this, but this is just copy paper thickness. So, you know, for me, I just felt this is a bit too thin to use as a pocket. So by doing this, I've kind of just made it a little bit more sturdy and durable and a bit more kind of suitable to be used as a pocket at the bottom like that. OK, so I might just have it like this, I think. Uh, Yeah, maybe, maybe like that. I'm actually thinking I should have come a lot more lopsided with my um, pockets, my diagonal pockets. I think probably in the last one I did, you know, and they probably then came right down, which I think in hindsight would be much better. So yeah, I've made these very much too shallow you know, I think I would have preferred them going much, much deeper down the pocket. But, you know, again, that's fine. And, you know, just play around with them and kind of then decide how you like them best. So, so and again, I keep having to do this now. And then, of course, having to re-glue, you know, my pockets at the bottom. Which, you know, I wouldn't have to do that at all if I had obviously made them with the bigger diagonal in the first place. So, yeah. Okay, and this one. Like that, okay. So, just glue that one down. Like that. 
Okay, so we've probably got time for one more. So let's just do, let's do one of those mathematics um, pages. So yeah, let me just pull that book in. Okay, so I've got this one here and which, I've got this paper here, which I can't remember now the name of this. Um, this might be, oh, I can't remember, I'm thinking Heath, Heath something. I can't remember now, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, right, now I'm just wondering probably can't get her face in so let me see whether oh that's okay because actually we can cut her face out completely and then use this side as the the pocket so I'm just going to go in like that okay. Okay. and we haven't been to the cinema or anything this week there was nothing on um worth watching it's got to be said so, yeah, we gave the cinema a miss this week. Um, actually, no, to be fair, the boys, they did go to the cinema. They went to watch um, the Batman movie, the new Batman movie. Oh, I mean, it was quite a long film. It was almost three hours. And, yeah, I said, oh, I don't think I can face going to watch three hours of Batman, thanks. So, no, I'll give that a miss. Um, my daughter didn't want to watch it either. I'm not sure it could have even been a 15. I don't know. I didn't get as far as um, even checking out, you know, what, certification it was because it just did not appeal to me at all and then when they came back they said it was rubbish so I was pleased that you know I didn't waste my three hours going to the cinema and yeah had three hours at home instead so um yeah that was all that they've seen all week I don't know it's just been a bit of a rubbish rubbish time at the cinema I think so um the last film I think that we went to see was The Duke, which we did enjoy. Um, but yeah, I don't think I don't think there's much out at the moment. Okay. There we go. Took my daughter on Saturday to that air arena thing again. So yeah, my sister and I we we went with her, you know her um, son and obviously, you know, my daughter. And then, um, yeah, that was okay. So we've kind of taken to doing that quite a bit on Saturdays now because actually, you know, obviously the kids really enjoy it. And um, yeah, it's quite oops, quite nice. My sister and I get to kind of sit and have a gossip and yeah, it's, it's quite nice. Oh, and I want to say thank you so much to everybody who bought the um, Butterfly Blue kit that I did the launch video of on Sunday. So thank you so much to anyone who bought that. And I really hope that you're enjoying using it. Um, you know, I had such a lovely time making that journal that, you know, that I've been making, which I think probably the flip through will probably go up tomorrow. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I think probably the flip through will go up tomorrow. But yeah, I had a great time making it and coupling it with those kids' books. Um, you know, the kids' book images, it just seemed to just marry so well with those. But yeah, I really loved making it. So, right, okay. Okay, so that's probably all that we will have time for making. So yeah, didn't really do that brilliantly. But I have got quite a few here ready to literally just glue them together or stitch them. I will probably stitch these together. So, I mean, if I include these, which is a bit naughty because, of course, they're not really finished. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got five there ready to just take to the sewing machine. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five there that are kind of complete. So... Yeah, I mean, overall, not too, too bad. So let's decorate one up, shall we? Just having a look around to see what I've got here that might be might be pretty to use. So got some bits and pieces here from, um, from the Vintage Gallery kit. Oh, I didn't put a pocket on here either. So actually, 
just thinking I could use this, which is the other part of that collage. And actually, I possibly could do two pockets. So should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm just going to cut this down here. Okay, like that, and then this one here. So yeah, and then we can have obviously the two pockets, which that's quite nice, isn't it? So I mean, you know, you really have got lots of different choices and options, haven't you? So let's glue this on. You know, and like I say, again, I mean, you could just um, stitch these on the same machine. Now, I'm not going to glue across here because then I'm going to end up with a very shallow pocket. So what I'm going to do instead is just to have it more like a belly band. But that belly band is going to be hidden by the pocket that I put on top, if that makes sense. So, you know, it, technically it's not going to be a belly band. It's, it's a pocket, but you just can't see the top of it, uh, the bottom uh yeah the bottom of it you can't see that it's not actually glued down so this pocket here i will just put like that over the top like that okay and just a bit here okay and then trim this down so like that Okay, like that. Just then trim this around, so just trim it down here. Like that, and here. Okie dokie, right. Probably just need to take this edge down slightly because it looks a bit, a bit lopsided. Okay, is that looking any better? I don't think so. I think I'm having a bad, bad cutting day. Oh well. Hopefully, once we've decorated it up, it won't be so, you know, so apparent and so obvious anyway. So yeah, let's kind of leave it like that. Now, I think I've got some clusters here somewhere. Just have a look um, that I've been using for other things. So let's just see. I, well, I thought I did have. Now I can't obviously see those either. So hang on. Uh, ooh, what have I done with those? You know when you feel like you have pulled something out and then you just can't find it anywhere. It's one of those, one of those moments. Um, okay, let's just have a look and see. Uh, right, let me just pull in some clusters that I've got down to the side of my desk. Just see if I've got any that would go quite nicely on here. So, oops. Right, I've got a whole bunch of different clusters here. That one's quite a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. Because I don't want to spend all day, you know, looking through. Well, she says as she then starts looking through. I mean, obviously, yeah, probably the worst thing to do is, is start looking through because then you start thinking, oh, I'm not sure, actually. Right, okay, just go for this one before I chop and change my mind anymore. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go for this one. It's quite pretty, isn't it? Now, this has got those two dominoes and they're just moving around because it's just stapled on. So I'm just going to staple that to hold it in place a bit more. Like that. Okay, so that's better. Right. So we could have that there. We could have it on the, you know, on the book page itself, to be honest. That looks very pretty too. Um, and then let's have a bit of lace. Got one of those book plates here. That might be a bit on the big side, but it, it might look okay. So let's just, just going to ink around here a bit. And then I'm just going to put this here, kind of like ink, ink across there. Okay. And 
just in here as well. Okay, and then across here as well. Right, okay. So I'll just quickly ink around this. Now, I'm going to just round the pockets as well. Oops. Oh, I might not. <laughs> it might be really too thick because um, it obviously has got the, the layers of the collage. It's got the layers of the book page. Oh, that's okay. It did do it. I had this horrible feeling it wasn't going to go through at all, but yeah, it did. Right. Okay. So that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? And then I might, yeah, might put, do we want this here, here, here? I mean, it's a bit weird in the middle, isn't it? Yeah, a bit strange in the middle. So if we have it up there, let's just ink this a bit. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, I love that over there. How pretty does that look? And then I think we just have a bit of lace going across here or something. So yeah, let me just pull in. I've been using some lace lately from um, an old jacket of mine. So yeah, I'm just going to pull that in and kind of cut that down. And I just like to kind of cut tear because um, then you get this nice sort of scraggedy, scraggedy edge, which, you know, looks really pretty, doesn't it? Okay. Then I had some flowers somewhere. Let me just see what happened to those. Because I might be able to have those somewhere. Okay. Oh, I mean, I can't believe how quick the um, year is flying through, you know going to be um spring soon isn't it well i mean it is spring i suppose but you know spring weather will be spring weather soon you know and then it will be car boot sale season i mean obviously the car boot sales i think they're still on or where i live they're still on um but you know it's just kind of would you want to traipse around in this you know in this weather at the moment so yeah although they are still on i you know i don't particularly tend to go when the weather's not so good um you know, but yeah, I'm looking forward to being able to be getting to the car boot sales again and things. Oh, and I just want to say, um, good luck, Heather. She um, is in hospital at the moment. She's having a procedure done. So yeah, I'm not sure whether she's actually going to be staying in. Um, but yeah, she was definitely, she was going in and um, having her procedure today on the Monday. So it will be done obviously as I'm filming this on the Tuesday, but, um, or, you know, as this has uploaded on the Tuesday. So I hope that it all went well, Heather. I hope that you're recovering well. Um, I don't know, obviously, whether you will see this, you know, while you're in hospital or, you know, I don't know how the situation is in hospital these days with things like TVs. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, they probably do have them, I guess, but yeah, I'm not sure quite how you'd, how you'd view them. But, um, yeah, I hope that it's all gone well anyway and that you're recovering, recovering well. I can't decide now whether to have this cluster or not, to be honest. I think perhaps I might have it up there. So I'm going to just glue this lace on down the bottom. I'm trying to do this because I've got a pink journal on the go at the moment that I'm making. And um, yeah, I thought, well, actually, while I'm, while I'm doing this, I might as well try and make something that would go in the pink journal that I'm actually making. So kind of being dictated by um, the journal that I'm actually, you know, actually making. So yeah, like that, I think. Oh, that's very pretty actually, isn't it? Right, let's glue this down. Now this is just copy paper. So I'm really being very, you know, over, um, yeah, over kind of uh, doing it with the, hot glue but the reason I'm doing that is because it's just gluing onto that fabric so you know but I mean hot glue completely is overkill there and not necessary at all oh I might prefer it just plainer actually 
yeah I think perhaps plainer is the way to go so these are my colored book plates and it's really weird but for some reason when I'm using these when I use the plain book plates the sort of vintage style book plate book plates I do always put like the little brads through on either end of this but for some reason when I've used the colored ones I haven't really done that I've just used them plainer you know I don't know why that is but yeah for some reason they don't don't seem to kind of like make me feel like they need that right this is one of those gorgeous ruffles from the lovely Mary Ann so thank you so much Mary Ann I have been hoarding these for a long time but I have been using them now so um yeah I really 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 love them and they're another one of those things that just look good everywhere you put them so, oh, and thank you so much to everyone who commented on the wax cabachons um, video last week. So, yeah, I really, really, really love them. And they are definitely another one of those things that really do genuinely look good every single place you put those. Um, yeah, I have made some more, obviously, since doing that video, which I'd done, you know, several weeks ago. And honestly, I can't tell you, they just, you know, of course I want to hold them because... Mm, that's me um but every single place that you put those they look really 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 lovely so yeah if you've um had a go at making some of those i hope that you're enjoying them um they just are really a nice fun thing to make um you know they're quite kind of therapeutic i think to make and you know quite relaxing to make but on a bonus, they also just look really, really, really gorgeous wherever they are put. So, yeah, hope that you're all um, enjoying it if you're making some of those. But I just can't tell you how much I really love them. You know, they're, um, yeah, just like scrumptious. Really one of those gorgeous things. Oh, and I just want to say a massive thank you to Michelle. So our lovely Michelle, who runs um, our Facebook group, she was so kind. She sent me some amazing flowers. So, yeah, they arrived last week. And um, she has sent me some flowers before. She's the kindest, kindest, kindest lady. And I'm sure that you all, you know, absolutely love her. I know that she really runs that Facebook group fantastically. And, oh, I mean yeah I definitely couldn't do it without her so she is amazing and yeah she you know on top of just being amazing running the Facebook group she sent me some flowers which was so 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 kind of her so thank you so so much Michelle if you see this video oh I can't tell you how much you made my day and they are so gorgeous they're from the same place that she sent them before which is I think it's called wild and bloom not bloom and wild I think it's wild and bloom and they come to you in this box with all the flowers kind of laying flat and it says shh your flowers are sleeping and I've told you this before but you know it was a while ago and um then you take them out and they've got some food feed stuff you know some flower feed stuff and you obviously you put them you know in your vase or whatever with the flower feed and um within literally about an hour I'd put them in the kitchen and within about an hour, my daughter and I came into the kitchen and they had opened all out. So gone from being sleeping flowers to blooming flowers. And by the next morning, they had opened out even more. And oh my gosh, they are so beautiful. They're on my kitchen windowsill and they just look gorgeous. So thank you so, so much, Michelle. They are lovely, lovely, lovely flowers. And yeah, if anyone's looking for somewhere to send flowers from that's the place they are just amazing and I'd never seen until she'd sent me the flowers before I'd never seen flowers sent that way before but wow they are just oh such a clever way to send flowers right okay so let's have a look and see how this would look in a journal so for instance here that's how that would look and then you could just glue that on three sides and pop it onto a page I mean to be honest yeah it's going to look better probably on a page this way if you see what I mean one of the flatter pages but how gorgeous is that it's so lovely isn't it and this we've got you know actually four pockets plus you would then have this side pocket as well so you've got a ton of space going on in here um you know from yeah from just a few sheets of paper really so um yeah really hope that you like it and um 
yeah, I hope that you managed to amass make along with me. So, like I say, I mean, I actually only made five complete ones, but, you know, I have got those other five ready to assemble. So, yeah, I'm so sorry about the distraction there. It was just that that phone call has really thrown me off. And so, yeah, I'm slightly kind of distracted now, but I do apologise for that. And, um, yeah, I hope that everybody, you know, manages to amass make some of these and, um yeah that you all have a good time and i will see you guys tomorrow thank you so much then and have a good week everyone bye